Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? Yeah. Welcome, 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 everybody to the Funny Don't Stop show. Every That's Tuesdays right. at 8 p.m. PST time. We going in today. I'm excited. We gonna get this going. We got special guests in the house. Yep. It's just a, it's yep. just a funny Tuesday, and I'm just excited to get this show going because we got a lot to talk about today, and we got heated topics. So I'm gonna start to my left. Everybody that's watching us on YouTube, check us out on youtube.com forward slash the funny don't stop show. Check us out on our personal Facebook pages and all, all our personal pages. We just going streaming live right now. Check us out. We on live. But I want to get to my host because we got special people in the building. We got guests in the building. We got family in the building. We about to have a good time yeah. and we about to get it in. So to my left, I got my man. Brett Raleigh. Brett Raleigh. What up, Brett Raleigh? What's up, everybody? I'm so glad to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Brett Raleigh, what's up, man? You know, out of all our guests that's here, mm -hmm. I do have somewhat a relationship with you. We've done some skits with Alex in the past. Yep. And, um, you know, I'm excited to see you because we got a different perspective in the room. Ooh. And so we're always happy to have a well-rounded discussion as we ex go explore everything that's going on in culture today. So I'm just ready to get it in and get some good information and see what's the vibe. But tell us about you, man, your story and how you came into comedy. Uh, I have, I'm a farm boy from Kansas. I grew up five miles from other humans. Oh, snap. <laughs> uh, on a Sounds farm. like a dream. <laughs> and, uh, oh and I've been in L.A. for 13 years because I escaped. Okay. Nice. Uh, Congratulations. I love it when people, like, I don't know, the, the whole thing of, like, people being, like, repping where they're from and stuff is foreign to me because I, like, when I, from a young age, I was like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Out of here? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's the name of the city you're from? Uh, Hutchinson, Kansas. Yeah, you but, can't. Okay. You can't shout out. What up, Hutchinson? Yeah, actually, people do like H Town because it's where the National Junior College Championships are and stuff. Oh wow. And, okay. But w Western Kansas was much worse, which was okay. like sixth grade through sophomore year in high school. How that, far? How far from that was Black Wall Street? Black Wall Street was wow. Tulsa, so that'd be about an hour and a half away. Okay, cool. No problem. No and I'm problem. very familiar with Black Wall Street. That's bullshit that this country doesn't understand. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what? We're going to get in it. We're going <laughs> yeah, to get into it. We're going to get that, into yeah. it. Okay, and to my far right, we got Mr. Deshaun Ross in the building. Deshaun Ross. Give it up, hey, everybody, hey, for Deshaun hey, Ross. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. What up? What up, man? Alex will be so happy. We got claps going because he's always like hitting me. He's right. always chunking me from the side. Yeah, okay. You know, I appreciate like, the claps. Yo, clap, say it, clap. And I'm always like the claps. worst with clapping, but now I'm in the front seat. It's like hard to not do it. Okay. But anyway, my bad. So tell us a little bit about yourself, Deshaun, man. I seen you on Instagram, but you know, that's kind of like our pseudo selves. Like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Just give us a little quick elevator pitch on who are you. Uh, quick elevator pitch. Uh, Deshaun Ross, comedian. Uh, I am from here. Uh, not L.A., but SoCal. I'm from Riverside. I actually grew up, born and raised out in Riverside. the Riv. In the Riv. Riverside. Okay. Club, Riverside. Shout out Club Metro. Oh, man. The, the Getro. <laughs> 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 I used to judge people that if I, no matter where you're from out here, if you knew about the Getro. Like, yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That says something the, about you. Every good side and bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's great. You know, Doc <laughs> always going to be the one to know all the, every time somebody's from L.A. area, Doc knows all the, oh, yo, that's the exit. You go by the car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, That's yeah. where Getro start. You yep, know, he Oh, he's like the, but the metro used to go down. Like, no for, question. <laughs> no yep. doubt. But it was like one of the spots you had to run up out of there real quick, though, too. So. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, All right. That's what's up. We're going to get into it, man. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. to your left and to my right, we got the lovely Miss Stephanie Tejada. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. It too. So, Stephanie, what's up? What's up with you? What's going on? What's going on in your life? Um, just what's not going on. I'm super excited to be here. Uh, came all the way from Upland. Shout out to the IE. Oh, wow. I IE. I didn't even go on oh, rap. I only been there like two years, you know. What's that? Inland Empire? Is <laughs> yeah. That yeah. Yeah. Okay, got you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out uh, Club Fashions. I used yeah. to go to Upland oh, when I was in college. <laughs> 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 Any club in LA I know about. He yep. know all the clubs. Uh, <laughs> that's what's up. So what, what brings you to LA? Well, I was on a reality show called The Bad Girls Club. Uh oh. What? No way, that just be crazy. <laughs> 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 and, um, you know, I just wanted to strike while the iron was hot. So I came out here to actually pursue comedic acting. Okay. And I was like, I got to try a st stand up. And then I had this just fever, and I'd just been nonstop for the past two years. Okay. Stand up comedy, sketch comedy. Uh, recently, I got to do this crazy audition for the role of Selena. 
Oh, in the new snap. Netflix series, so what? I'm like going to shit myself just thinking about it. I okay. love that movie. <laughs> don't, do it, don't do it right now. Wait. Wait for it. So yeah. they're doing a reboot of like, a, it's going to be a Netflix show. So I got the opportunity to do that. and You would be Selena? Wow. <laughs> Oh, wow, that's exciting. <laughs> well, wait, wait, wait. Can you sing? Bitty, bitty, bum, bum. Oh, I don't even know. It's just, you know what I mean? Oh, we, we got a singer in the house. We, we gonna hold who out. Who gonna sing? We got a singer in the house. Uh-oh. <laughs> me, 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 me. You? We got a singer, no, we got a singer we, in the house. No, I don't have any beats for that. But since we have an exchange, let me introduce you properly. The man with the goat hat. The man with the mixes. They used to call him DJ Danomatic, but now it's just oh. DJ Dano. Yeah, yeah, you and What's Dano. Up? Everybody, you give it up Damn. for DJ Dano. Dano. Thank you, thank you, thank you very DJ much, Dano. thank you very much, thank you very much. How <laughs> 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 he get the extra set? <laughs> And now I take a bow, right? Yeah, how, how you doing today, Dano? I'm so, good, man. I'm you good. You see I'm how good. conveniently he has he applause had for himself. Yeah, he, he had a set. No, yeah. I applauded everybody, Doc. Yeah, he I did. mean, for the first week, though, this is the first time that's happened. Like, <laughs> yeah. like you're doing a good job today, Dano. Thank for you, real. man. Get you know, I raised. got a new program, which has got me on point. It's one finger. Bing, bing. Oh, okay, that's cool. there it is. Yeah, yeah that's cool. Thank and you. of course, we got the producer extraordinaire, yes, yes, Mr. Atlas of LA. If you need to know anything that's going down in the city, Mr. Manicure Man, Mr. Shades Man, give it up for the producer extraordinaire, Doc in the building. Everybody, Woo! give it up for Doc. Yeah. And of course, you know, keeping us tight, keeping us right on social media and all things video. And audio, we got my man Raul in the building. All right, we we got it going today, man. It's yeah, it's yeah. what's up, man. I'm I'm good. feeling good. So I'm gonna get back to you, Brad, man, on this Kansas. Wait, 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 hold on, hold what's on, said, hold on, what's up, hold, hold on, man. Before you roll into the topics, shout out to Alex Thomas. Yes, shout no out doubt. to Savvy at Music. Shout hey. out to D- Dara who. Okay. I we don't wait there a lot. Are get, they on vacation? We, yeah, we gonna we everybody's on vacation, man. You man. know. They got us house Negroes, you know, holding it down. Holding it down. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's all good. I it's just, all all the light skinned people, they they take off, you know. Wait, wait, I'm still here. Yeah. You you're you not light skinned. You're, you're from New Orleans. Orleans. You're so Puerto you, Rican. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first one I've seen out here. <laughs> Hilarious. No, I'm Creole, man. Louisiana by nature. Well, you're not light skinned. Yeah. Remember last week? I'm LA to LA. That's the thing. <laughs> right. Trust. Let's not start. <laughs> it's a- <laughs> give me the gumbo. Give me the jambalaya. Give me the etouffee. Give me the zydeco music. I'm. There. You know, my roots okay. is from Louisiana, man. Yeah. My birth certificate See? is from New Orleans. So wow. I'm, uh, my people's originally, we got off the slave ship straight up from New Orleans, man. Good Your to birth know. certificate was from there or are you from there? I'm not from there. That's why I said my birth certificate. My mom it's birthed me there. My mom birthed me in um, New Orleans and then I moved. She moved to Chicago. Wow. Three, three months after so I was you're from there. New Orleans by way of Chicago or you're from Chicago? I'm from Chicago by, by birthright way. way of New Orleans. Right. So okay. confusing. Okay. Well, All right. Let me just Whatever throw you this. Whatever you claim, I go you. With. Wait a minute. I was always I'll, under I'll just I'll just throw this on the table. My birth certificate <laughs> yeah. okay. has me classified as, what? as Caucasian. Oh, wow. Wow. Nice. Because back in, back in the <clears throat> day, I won't go the year, but back in the day, you know, our parents wanted something different for us, colored. Yeah. So, colored. for whatever reason, being both my parents are that's Creole, the, Yeah, that's the colorism. They put Caucasian on my birth certificate. Wow. Here's, a, here's the funny part. My birth certificate says Negro. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, old, I'm old enough to where my birth certificate wow. says Negro. You know and what? I'm actually I, proud of that. I think mine does, wow. too. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually proud. I think I'm mine proud. does too. I'm actually proud of that. I need to check mine. Well, now, since we talking check about, it. <laughs> since we I talking mean, about, let you know how old we are. Yeah, yeah, how old we are. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I was born back in the day where they didn't have the classification of African American. Because right. wow. a lot of people yeah, don't yeah, realize yeah. that African American came about right around like the time of Jesse Jackson and like pre 1980s right, 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 kind of right. era. But back when I was born, yeah, it was Negro on my my birth certificate. Negro. What's on your What's on your birth, what's on your birth c- certificate, Stephanie? Uh, 11 pounds something ounces. <laughs> That's a big baby. That's, That's a lot of baby right there. That's a big That's baby. That's a lot of baby. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of baby. No, no, no classification? I, I, I have no idea what it says. Yeah, I barely remember my social security, yet alone what's on my birth certificate. Yeah, you should go look it up. If it says well, yeah, 11 no. pounds, you need to send your mom flowers. You know yeah. Hello. 
Right. That's why I think that's why I'm an only child from my mother. I, I think she was it. like, that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> so right. So for, for those for those that are listening, they can't see her ethnicity. How yeah. would you break your ethnicity down? So my dad is Guatemalan. Wow. Okay. My mother is Puerto Rican. Okay, okay. Oh. so you're so Latina. I'm a, I'm a Guadarican. Guadarican. Nobody, oh, every, Guadarican. you know, everyone thinks Mexican out here. Can you speak Spanish? Yeah. yeah, I can speak Spanish. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. That's why we think that. That's oh, all we have cool. out here. Oh, <laughs> 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 well, wait, wait, wait. I can speak Spanish or I do speak Spanish? Two different things. No, I, I do and I can both. I, okay. I, I, I can speak it. Spanish too. Yo hablo español para cuatro años. Yo hablo español no. muy bien, papacito. Gracias. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Serio. But Serio. I don't speak it. That's all I know. So, so Brett, what, what do you have on your Brett's birth certificate? like awkward. What, what's on your birth certificate? On uh, my birth yeah, certificate, it says big head Irishman. Irishman. <laughs> no, I, Caucasian, I, yeah. I was going to say Irishman, that's that's a nationality. That's cool. Yeah, be, I'm, <clears throat> No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like you got to be. Because the Irish was in, so the, they was in the slums just like, you know, Af- so-called African-Americans. I'm were. very aware. Yeah, so. I know. had, to, I had I was just shooting the shit at Chocolate Sundays with a bunch of really funny comics. I can't. Oh, it was Rail Battle. Really? Okay. And somebody was giving me shit for being a white guy and talking and making jo- all these jokes about slaves and slave mm-hmm. sh- ownership and shit. And I was like, hey, man, I've done so many growing up, like college, high school, all that shit, doing reports and theses where we where I traced my lineage and found out my people never owned None. anybody. And Rail Battle goes like <laughs> nice. this. He goes, I don't think I want to be friends with a white person that didn't own nobody. Oh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people are not hip to that. They they just classify funny. white people in one big bucket. Yeah, right? Right. and they not understand that there's, there's many Caucasian, there's Anglo-Saxon, there's European, there's actually Irish, and a lot of times Irish wasn't even deemed Caucasian in early yeah. ancestry, right? And they yeah. treated them pretty horribly yeah. in yeah. in their past. But yep. so it's all good, man. We Irish we love wasn't you. We love Caucasian you. Caucasian when. <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> when was that? When they came over on the ships. Really? Yeah, they were not accepted amongst uh, general Caucasians. Yeah, if you watch the ships, that's what they say. You cool, right. Brett? Yeah, cool. <laughs> 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 You understand the struggle. Yeah, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I just grew up. Okay, and another thing, like my ancestry were the people that were like crossing the United States mm-hmm. with big dreams mm-hmm. and then just were like, you know what? Fuck it. This is hard. <laughs> it's enough. <laughs> Let's just stop here. And they lived through like the Dust Bowl and yep. the Depression wow. out on the, uh, like, I, I mean, yeah, the history is real. Like uh, on the plains when the Dust Bowl hit, like people couldn't. They just literally had to hunker down and try and live, like dirt in your food, dirt in your water. Oh right. Gosh. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, they had a big land grab, you know, yeah. ultimately what that's what they had, what they called a little uh, a land run. Mm-hmm. So they had a grab with just open amounts of land and literally white folks is out there running and take a stake and put it in the ground. And that was actually their land. And so a lot of the great Midwest and the great plains, <laughs> they just. He knows a lot of they facts. Just took, <laughs> they just took. They just took. Fact man, that's fact man. He literally fact man. about everything. No, he, no he's fact man. <laughs> I'm Atlas. That's our boy said. That's fact man. He knows everything about everything. Snapple fact. I'm from Riverside. You know Riverside really founded in 1911. No question. You know this. The more you know. Yeah. 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 The more you know. Man, you know, it's, I'm a font of useless information, and now it's just coming out. You know, ultimately, back in the day, I had no way to use That's all funny. of this information. Right. <laughs> right. Now, you know, right. so it's going like Jeopardy wait. or something. It was like, ah, I get to use it. By yes. The yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. My I cup runneth it. over, you know. So what, what about you, man? What's on your birth certificate? How do you classify yourself? Since we're talking about uh, race and culture, how do you see yourself in today's culture? Uh, mine says little baby. I was a preemie baby. I don't know what it says about my color. But I was a little baby. That's all I know. Okay. I was I was one of them incubator babies. So I wasn't like a normal baby baby. Wow. Yeah, wow. I grew up in like a, a a shell of a thing for a long time. So. A shell of a really? thing. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't no no. <laughs> no, no worries. I was. I was. That's why I think I have a short t- patience now because I was a short patience baby. Like I was supposed to be born in November, but I came out in August. I was like, I got to go. I got to make a baby. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He's a preemie. Wow, I that's crazy. Plans. Yeah, I was an incubator baby, so that's what I wow. refer to myself as. I, I could relate to that because when I was a baby man, I didn't even drink milk. I came out the what? I came out the womb. I, I didn't even drink milk. I think that's the oh, well, I was breastfed till I was twelve. All wouldn't right. wouldn't drink it. <laughs> <laughs> that's how they do it in Louisiana though. Two or twelve. What's well, that? Mama had them never. cheese. You he know could unhook saying? the bra himself. He's like, I got this, Mama. I got this. Oh, my Lord. That Lord. is crazy. Incest. So so so. <laughs> no 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 no. Right oh. right now right uh-huh. now every everybody's talking about the NBA right now. So oh, absolutely. Stephanie, be. do you watch the NBA? I'm not even gonna flex. <laughs> 
No. <laughs> yeah, hey, because you know, you got to ask nowadays. Nowadays. No, I know. Girls be pretending on Instagram, yeah. oh, it's, it's Super Bowl season, and then think it's like soccer. Freaking idiots. That's like, yeah, why hilarious. you pretend, you know? That's how the culture is right now. It's so, especially you, you're a Cali female. A lot of Cali females are kind of almost. I'm not from Cali, though. Where are you from? I'm, I thought you said it's from Riverside. I no. live in Upland. No, she says he lived there. But I'm from Orlando, Florida. Oh, see, I missed that whole yeah. part. Oh, no Orlando. wonder, no wonder. You're not a Cali But wait, girl. Let, me, let me defend the Cali folk. A lot of people say, oh, y'all Hollywood. No, it's people that move here. It's the yep. transplants. Yes, yes. Because yep. we used to this. Yep. Everybody from here, we used to this. Daily it's, life. No, yeah, I, they I was like, gonna, oh, I'm from here. No, you're not. No, you're not. I was going to say the Cali girls, they are more like hip to like masculine energy and male stuff. So, you know, they kind of keep up with the sports and kind of be like the home homeway lover girls kind of thing. So I was like, okay, everybody's into like basketball and sports. I've been disinterested. What about you, uh, Brett? You been into I'm the I'm always finals? interested because I was the face of the Golden State Warriors ad campaign the Uh-oh. first the first of the championships <laughs> on this run. So I'm definitely in. I'm I'm a Warriors fan. You, yeah, I heard you was that I guy. Am. How I did am. how did you propose? How did you propose to your wife? Oh, on the Oprah Winfrey Network. So oh. I got th- these are my credits. I was the face of the Golden State Warriors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Post my girl on the Oprah Winfrey Network. <laughs> Things are good. Oh, okay. So you you live in a storybook life of American life. I'm right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm like the exact polar opposite. Single, black man, no kids. I'm fighting statistics right now. Okay. How's, how's it feel to live the American dream? It feels you married, great. You know, it feels great. It feels so good. But I try and stay as woke as I possibly can. Yes. Define <laughs> woke. <laughs> what, what does woke mean to you? Define woke. Brett is woke. Good, when good you're question. around, okay. <laughs> well, Deshaun, answer it for me. That's better. <laughs> Actually, we can, we can swing it to Deshaun. What do you feel I'll about woke? One, I will say this about Brett, though. Brett, Brett we, like when it comes to performing, like clubs, we mm-hmm. probably do polar opposite. Like I like to stay in the uh, the mainstream clubs. Brett goes everywhere. Brett be all up in the hood rooms, the yeah, J-spot, yeah. the... He'll be at the family room down in Compton. I don't, I don't, I don't really go that far I like far the away. family room chicken wings. I, I used to go just to eat chicken. I'm not going to lie. Me and my boy LR, I would say, hey, tell everybody you a comedian because they gave free chicken away at 7 o'clock. So we would get there at 7 o'clock oh. Oh, to wow. eat chicken. Cause I was Such a stereotype. Really, first I know of all, it was free. I doing okay? tomorrow at <laughs> it 7. Was, it was free, and then they tipped you. And that, like, this is when I first started comedy. I'm really, you don't have no money. So I was like, bet. I get tipped and free chicken? I'm oh, you're there. This is the family room still, right? So they give out yeah, watermelon too? Do they give out watermelons yeah. as well? That's very... Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, wow. But that... What he said about tipping, yeah. when, when paid, I first right? came, it used to trip me out. I walked into the family room, and if they like you, people literally are throwing money. At your feet. At your feet. <laughs> Making it rain? Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> wow. Dead serious. That's They're a like strip different. club. They're that sounds like, like a comedy yeah. strip club. Right. I've never seen it in my life. They were like, you fun in the motherfucker. And just throwing money. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, hell yeah. I'm like, I'm well, dead I just walked serious. around. So and then I walked around as cool <laughs> as I could picking that, all those dollars up. That is, that is, that's the humbling thing when you got to pick the money back up, though, because it's like yeah. really low. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, I need this dough, though. So yeah. I'm going to put my foot on it every day. I think I'm going to go up just to get the tips. Yeah, I mean, it was worth it. It was worth it back then. And then, so, then they started like trying to split it. I'm like, nah, they didn't earn all this. I'm taking all this from me. I'm not. I don't do split. Yeah, tips. we aren't yeah. doing split. Right, like I worked a pole by myself. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I'm on a stage. No, yeah, I don't do that. Now you know how strippers. They feels. always try to do <laughs> no. that. No, you know what? I used to go go dance. What? No way. But um, mm. I used to hate it when like the regular bitches in the club would like be diving for our tips, and we're like, I would step on their hands so one. hard. Really? <laughs> yeah. What, what's a go go girl? Like, Shh. Dope. You know, like regular nightclubs with the okay. girls would be in the cages. Sometimes they have like feather pieces oh, in their head. Oh, we'll do, like, yeah. Choreography sometimes. Dance yeah, so artists. you don't get out. You don't get so out. Much? I'm do not. See, I'm not an LA depends. guy. I'm not it's an LA not, guy. And that, LA, that's worldwide, bro. No, okay. it's not a like go-go that. Go-go dancer. It's, it's not yes, like it that is. in Chicago, man. Yes, it's not two, like that in Houston. Go-go girl. There's go-go dancers everywhere. I'm old, man. All right, let sexy girls on stage. While the DJ yeah. is spinning, yeah. the now lights are flashing, the <laughs> sound is booming, and they got <laughs> cages on the left and the right of the DJ, and they're just dancing gotcha. and enjoying themselves. Gotcha. Yeah, yep. it's All the right. best job. There's and no benefits, but you get free alcohol. Okay, <laughs> right. Yeah, and tips. That's comedy. That's Seth, comedy. That's comedy. That's comedy. That's comedy. Right. There's that's no benefits exactly. to alcohol. Seth was going to discotheques. Yeah, they exactly. Didn't have yeah. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right. Can I change it up for a second? Yeah, just go ahead. Gears? Go ahead. We've been talking about racist stuff, but I want to talk about this. I want to talk about what we were just talking about, about... When you're doing a job and this 
because that's what is a big argument in our society right now is people going like, okay, if I went up there and I was funny as shit and you guys are throwing tips and then all the comics would be like, oh, we should split the tips because we were all on the show. No, no motherfucker. No. Nobody no. laughed at you. No. The, yeah, yeah. They laughed at yeah. me, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> no, you was on the show. You know, I was the and, show. And, and, was going, yeah. and, 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 and all that shit. That's what, that's yeah. literally a fundamental thing that's confusing a lot of people is, is it really beneficial to pretend like we're all bringing no. shit yeah. to the table? No. yeah. Everybody shouldn't get no, a trophy. No, I'm tired of that. that whoever was yeah. on the yeah. stage gets no. the tips. Right. Period. Whoever's yes. producing, whoever's really <laughs> making moves needs to get paid. Absolutely. Right. So I understand that, but my argument is, people that are fucking human squirrels, like people that are like they don't give any money to anybody else, they just hoard shit. Yeah, that shit needs to be. There needs to be some oversight on that shit. Period. Yes. Well, that's, that's it's kind of a microcosm of what we deal with in society today. And I think that's what you can really go with, Deshaun, is like, we're giving out too many participation oh, trophies yeah, in today's like society. We're doing it with our kids and we just raising weak kids today. No, 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 no. Every soft ass generation. Like, yo. you need to, when you lose, you need to feel that. Yes. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but the kids are weak. <laughs> because then, you know what? You work harder next time to feel the winning. Because you, you don't want to have that feeling of exactly. not winning. Yeah, Absolutely. Man, nah. yeah. You need to know when you lost. Yeah. You didn't know when you went. Exactly. You get a big tall trophy for the winner right. and nothing for the loser. Right. That's right. true. But that's, that's, the kids I mean, aren't the ones that are weak. Yeah, it, it was the baby them. boomer. It was the baby boomer parents that couldn't handle the shit that they were shit parents because right. they were yes. all cutting that eight. They were all caught up in that eighties yuppie keeping up with the Joneses bullshit lifestyle. <laughs> it's not the kids yeah. when they complain about millennials and shit. I'm like, shut we your old ass weak. the fuck up. Yep. Yeah. Serious. Unless you invented some shit or you created your own path, shut the fuck up. That's what we came up with. The, uh, You're a pencil pusher. Shut the fuck up. With the, yeah. with the bike helmets and stuff like that. Right. All of that stuff came out and, and kind of like my post generation. We ain't had none of that stuff. No. Bike no. helmets. We were, helmets? How old right. are you? Do with helmets? <laughs> oh, well, I'll go even old school. We were drinking water out of the faucet <laughs> yeah. on the, the lawn. Yeah. The faucet out of the hose. Out the hose. Out the hose. hose water was Without delicious. a nozzle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wow. Gangster. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, man. That, that's what built you strong. Though, because everything yep. that was running through that hose was in your body. That's why you strong now. It's good yeah, minerals. The thug life yeah. shows up. <laughs> yeah. like, like, one of, like one of my boys puts it best, and he's a comedian. Uh, I'll give him a shout out because he always hates on our show. <laughs> Lewis Dix. He has his bit about. He has his bit about the fact that kids these days getting uh, 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 sick from eating penis. Like the reason y'all getting sick from eating penis is because. I was like, what oh, is I thought you said Wait. eating penis. Nah. No, <laughs> peanuts. Oh, peanuts. Okay, let's get it together. Hello. Hello. Hey, all normal children Shelled. get sick from eating penis. <laughs> Shell. <laughs> What, like if what, my kid, if wait, my wait, son wait. comes home and doesn't get sick from eating penis, <laughs> <laughs> peanuts. Sorry, okay, I'm peanuts. kidding. I was worried about that. Is one. peanut a fruit or a vegetable? I wait. Fruit. Which kind of peanut? It's uh, a protein. Uh, in a Go shell. Ahead, say it. In that? a shell, like an elephant eats a peanut. Is that a fruit or a vegetable? Yeah, I don't know. That's a good one. I don't know. Okay, we'll it's come back legume. to that. Come on, fact man, work <laughs> yeah. it out. That's but in legume. the meantime, what my boy says is hilarious. How the kids today getting sick up a eating peanuts the reason why is because they don't eat dirt like we were grown up eating dirt we God ate made mud dirt. pies dirt don't hurt that's what you used to say when Thank something you. fell on the ground yeah. Boom. 10 second rule God what made dirt and dirt, dirt don't, don't hurt kiss that up right. to God and exactly. yeah, it was good Amen. yeah <laughs> so back to the NBA man because we, we didn't even get on that oh, I love who, I love who you got who you got everybody go around tell me who y'all got in the uh, NBA All right, finals here's my, wow. here's my thing okay go I'm go, I want I'm doing I'm rooting for Kawhi because he's from Riverside um, okay. So I'm rooting for it. But. Just bought a house in Toronto. Yeah, but he's from Riverside, though. I don't know about where he bought this crib. He bought one in San Diego, too, though. But um, uh, I do like if Golden State wins with KD not playing. Mm. Okay. If he comes back, then I'm going to be all 100% Toronto. But I also don't really care about who the ones either which way because I'm a Laker fan. So all I want is us to get championships back. Ooh. Got you. So uh, really, you, I care. You one of those. No, I'm a Lakers I, I, fan. I, I, right with him. <laughs> yeah, I used to be a Die Lakers hard. fan. No, no, no. There's no such thing as used to be. Yeah. I'm a Lakers fan Die until hard. I'm gone. That's it. Yeah. Who you got, Brett? Who you got in the NBA Finals? <laughs> got the Golden State Warriors. It's the best way to play basketball. It's beautiful. Uh, we got shooters. Uh, we got it all. It's done. It's over. It's a wrap. It's going to keep... Yeah. What, what's the going on with KD, though, man? Y'all, y'all first got of all, he's not playing. First of all, he... He's I more don't hurt think than he's, what everybody I, says. For one, I mean... <laughs> Do you, do you want like, him? Do you not want he's him? Hurt. I no, I want him. He's what he's top he's top four in the league, period. Always, you know, he's great. 
But he not getting the love from you Golden State fans. No, 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 It's from the media. They always try and spin that stuff. They've always tried to. But that's another thing that's sad is why are you trying to diminish? They they trying to diminish the greatness of that's all they do now in in, in the media. That's why I can't stand Stephen A. Smith and Colin Cowherd <laughs> and any of those dudes. I'm like, shut what? up, like shut yeah. up. These are the greatest athletes in the world. Listening to some pinhead named Skip that's Bayless why I don't talk want about. Them but I think Stephen him. A. gives. KD props as far as his ability. I think he oh, just did. He just didn't like the fact of how he came to Golden State. I didn't like. That I think either. that's his. I think that's Stephen A's perspective. But he's never. Right. He's never talked shit about how KD plays. He, plays. he can't. Do you know who you can't. can't. He's like you said. He's but, arguably like one of the. You said top four. I would even say top two. Yeah. Right. In in, in the league, you cannot yes. take away of how great of a player K- KD is. And I can't see. KD. Why would Golden State not? Why would you why not, would you not, not want, want that? That doesn't make yeah. any sense. No. Why would you, you not want You know what, though, it? to me, it was like, it, they're like, okay, remember the, the Avengers when Tony Stark was talking to the one low-key dude and he was explaining, like, we yeah. got the Hulk, we got this, and then he goes, oh, and we got the Hulk. I feel like Golden State was the Avengers already, and then they added the Hulk by bringing in Kevin Durant. Ooh, nice. That's how a lot of people feel. And I, and and I, that's why I didn't like the move. Oh. I'm not saying I'm KD is an amazing, you can't stop him. He can't be stopped. Literally, like, who's going to guard him? You, but I think, big, a, I think it a little diminishes him. his kind of legacy a little bit. I, I don't. How I, do you, how I don't do you, like the, the move. trying to do I that. I don't like the move at all, but I don't think it diminishes because he's still great. He's still great. No yeah. matter where he plays. Now, he's not LeBron, but he's still great. No, no doubt. He's still great, but I am with some of what the media is I trying to say. I don't even know about that comment about LeBron. I, I'm, not, I'm not a LeBron LeBron fan. changes. If, if I had the two. Uh, but LeBron changes a whole team by himself. That's what you say, Doc. He does. My problem with LeBron is, yeah, he ch- he changes how everybody plays. So once he comes, whatever position you play now changes. He did that in in in. I'm not complaining in, about in, it. Though. In Miami, He's too good. You got to change. You got to you got to adapt to the the superstar. That's how I feel. That's how they've all. If I had the two, if I if I had the two, I would definitely take. Even, even I would take. State, I, I, they, I would take they KD the way they play. The that's all that's going on. When you have a player KD. like LeBron, KD, I think it's a little different. Yeah. And you're you're right. Golden State did have to adjust to how KD plays. Yeah, the ball I, moves a little absolutely. bit more, and that's what the media should have said instead of diminishing to Kevin Durant. They should just be like, "Yo, the ball moves." Differently, it, it moves differently. But it even moves differently because yeah. when not KD's that we not there, the ball move. still moves. So it we have we have a lot. real yeah. guy talk right now. But Stephanie's not like, over here cleaning her nails. I'm about right, right. to tase myself. <laughs> <laughs> she's <laughs> she's go, over okay. here cleaning her nails. Like, uh, yeah. What am I doing afterwards? What's going on? What guys texting me? Like, uh, maybe I can talk about the Lakers girl. Yes, have you ever tried out for the Lakers girl? Like, can you dance? Yeah. Well, yeah. She was a go-go dancer. Oh, yeah, right. Choreography. Thank you. I appreciate that sound effect. I got this. Um, yeah, I've done actually dance with like artists before, um, like Latin artists. I got to dance for a Chris Brown show, Lil Wayne, Rick Ross, um, a bunch of people. But um, they asked me if I wanted to do the Orlando Magic, but they do not get paid. I was well. saying, they don't, much they don't make shit. Yeah, I was saying, don't do that. <laughs> like, that's yeah. like and they want you to rehearse like. Every day, time. and yeah, you they don't they get paid. Right. They're like, you well, we'll give you your uniforms, of... and we pay for your travel, but you're making, like, I think it's, like, literally, like, 50 bucks. Yeah, yeah. a game. Yeah. Yeah. At right. home, only home games. I used to date right. a girl who was a Clipper girl. Yeah. Uh-oh. She was so broke. Oh, I was yeah. I was going to do it until I found <laughs> that out. I was like, ew. Was, was, she, was she black, or was she uh She was black. She was black? Okay. Yeah. All right, cool. Why'd you ask that said? <laughs> I said, Clipper girl. Wait, wait. I'm just wondering, said, why did you? I said, Clipper girl. Hey, listen, I was just curious. Clippers, just curious. Clippers will take two black girls. <laughs> Lakers? Eh, eh, yeah, I know. It's, eh. a little, it's a little harder. But that's cool. <laughs> do, do you ever aspire to be uh, in that position? Nah. You don't want to do that? I, I mean, honestly, I used to do, like want to do so many things, and now I'm just really focused on just growing as a comedian, um, as a mogul. I have a fashion store. Um, I just have a lot of plans, you know, and it's like, do, so I, financially, do, it needs to be rewarding for the things that I would like to do, and I don't have time to settle for fifty dollars dance gigs just for the clout. You know nice. what I mean? <laughs> so, right. so do you think people look at you uh, in sideways because you was on a reality show? I'm oh, always yeah. interested. The Bad Girls Club, we have like a cult following. So like I literally get like death threats from like 12 year old kids. Dang. Wow. <laughs> like, bitch, you should have fought that bitch. I hate you. I'm gonna come kill you. Like, where's your mother? Like, you know what That's I mean? Funny. Like exactly. <laughs> So you didn't fight on the So show? do people come up yeah. to you? What do they do when they come up to you? I'm interested in this. I, most of the time it's love. If anything, most of the hate comes from the internet and the, the cyberbullying. But I'm like, right. go to like you got the class internet. in the morning. You know what I mean? Well, if you're getting hated on, that means people are following you though. So yeah, look at it like that. But that's right, the right. show. That's just like the show itself. Like 
if if they don't like you, they like somebody else. You know, yeah. it's like who was against who? Which click do I like? Which click don't I like? So so what about the guys? Do the guys? I know guys. You know your DMs stay lit. So you get every little Ugh. rapper, wannabe thug, it's gross. Hooper. I'm sure they in your DMs. <laughs> it's like, gross. You know. it's, it's gross, gross. because like, you know why it's gross? And I say this and hoes be offended. I don't care. But That's it's like hilarious. These <laughs> women are so just like down to do things because of a man's status. Like they just have no self-respect. Like I've had celebrities like be like, yo, can I fly you out? Like I know nothing about you, sir. Like I've never had a conversation. You know what I mean? But there's girls who are doing that. And they're just like, oh, we're going to go to Bermuda with some rapper. I don't know. He might kill us, maybe. But at least <laughs> yeah. we'll go on vacation. Well, you know, that's the yeah. culture now. Everybody, <laughs> everybody wants to be on right now, you know? And, and it's part it's part of this <laughs> entertainment culture that we're in today. Yeah. Everybody's trying to do whatever it is. If they're I got to like. Doing the thing for clout. Yeah. Hey, doing the thing for yeah. clout. And a lot of women <laughs> think that because if they get next to a guy, it's going to be an opportunity for them somewhere yeah. in the end. But we know how that story ends. I've never been into anybody that's like in the industry like that. Like I've had so many and I'm just like people try to, you know, and I'm just like, you a hoe. I know you are. I've seen basketball wives. I've seen love and hip hop. I know, <laughs> you know, I know these types that's of people funny. personally. And it's just, I know. I know. <laughs> well, I, I'm, yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, Brett, you got the same problem too, right? You after these duty shows, I know your DMs stay hot. <laughs> no, I'm a domesticated house cat. Um, <laughs> I have a six year old and a three year old, and I am the stay at home parent, and I rock shows at night, and I. Faithful to my wife, been with the same woman for over 14 yes. years. Wow, my wife's an nice. ICU nurse. That's what's up. My chick's bad. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. My chick has had my chick has had two babies, no stretch marks. The genes are strong on this one. Nice. And she is <laughs> from Iowa, but her name is Shayna with a C. Because wow. her dad wanted symmetry. That's so hilarious. Her brothers symmetry are Corey, what? Clinton, Chad, and she's the youngest, so he wanted. He wanted all of them Symmetry. to start with a C, so he named her Shayna with a C. <laughs> wow. And she is uh, a tiny ass town in Iowa, like 2,400 people, but she's got olive skin. Like, if we go uh -oh. outside to the beach together, I get red and burnt. And Hold she, Wait, people so she ask me all the time, oh, what's your wife mixed with? I'm like, she's like Scandinavian from Iowa. Like, she's, that's, <laughs> she's white was, mixed with white, but she's got this olive skin <laughs> and these really beautiful blue green eyes. She's just oh, hot as shit. Stop it. Yeah. You're trying to store <laughs> sports. No. I know she's yeah. listening right now. No, but listen, I, I know you said a key word that's always been interesting to me. What is olive color? Because I thought olives were green. So, yeah, kind of, well, well it, it's kind of like an <laughs> olive, yellowish, orangish, you know, what it looks like soft a yellow brown. brown like kind a of a soft brown, brown. yeah. <laughs> yeah, because, you know, a lot of times when people are talking about colors. like, what color was Christ? A lot of people say, yeah, well, he wasn't white. He uh -oh. wasn't black. We he, was get into olive this color. Color. he was olive color. <laughs> he was, he so was, was Middle wanna Eastern. Know, I always want to know what's olive color, but that's cool. He, you, you broke it down. We don't have to get into the depths of that. I just. I was like, oh, oh, okay. That come, on, always, said, come on, always, said. Come on, said. Come on, man. Now, I'm I Alex today. Wait. I'm, <laughs> Fact, man. Wait, let me say. <laughs> I have to be Alex today. I'm channeling my inner Alex, so I'm you keeping it, you know. I got to say Alex. one more thing, though. Just one. Say yeah. that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you said, do people still slide into my DMs? Yeah. And the truth is, when women do come on to me, now it's literally just, oh, I get to put that in my memory bank. Really? That's it. <laughs> yeah. The girl, dude, the, I got hit on, I get followed by two chicks on Instagram that were the ring girls for the McGregor Mayweather fight. And yeah. one night, my boys nice. have always thought I was full of shit. They always think it's a put on for me to say, I love my wife and all the shit. But then when my boys were with me and those girls came up and they were like, hey, um, my girl's apartment's right around the corner. Why don't we just drink some tequila there and then we'll go to the karaoke bar and meet everybody. And I go, oh, that's. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. I was like, that's yes. amazing. I was like, but I'm not doing that. That's that sound of maturity, a man. A real man. That's sound of maturity. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I actually got caught up like that. I had an For ending real? relationship like that. Yeah. You had I had what? two girls come mm. over, call yeah. me up. I'm at the house minding my own business. And they were like, hey, what are you doing? Me yeah. and my cousin's going to come over. We're just going to have a drink. I was like, okay, cool. Come on. Guess what? Now the mature me now knows you mm. got to be like chess. You got to see that pawn coming 10 steps oh, yeah. ahead. But the 25-year-old me did know. It's like, okay, cool. We're just going to have drinks. Next thing you know, I'm in a house drinking, hanging yeah. out with two girls. My girl is knocking on the door. 
Ah, she had a spare key. She opened up the key. Yeah. I'm in there with two girls. It was it was. Oh, rap. did she did she try to stab you? It was a wrap. Did she try to stab you or throw something? Was that? Yeah, was there physical violence? Oh, it sounded like it should have been. No, no, throw that was this that real, this that real professional, you know, that, MBA oh. doctorate black woman. So she, she just came in talking. In. Oh, okay. This what we doing? All oh, right. Wow. All right. Let me All get right. my shit. Then. I might have been more no, scared no, no. of that though. No, no. Yeah, yeah. So that's what makes you more scared, right? And so it's like, okay. All right, ladies, it was a good evening. You know, you guys get out, basically, and the ladies left. Then the angry black woman oh, kicked yes. in. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That's yes, it. yes. But, you know, that you learn, you live and learn, you know. Sometimes we have to go through these situations in order to be I a don't, better man. I don't yeah. get why Agreed. anyone, like, doesn't. For me, it's not hard to not cheat because, like, I just think about how I will feel on the other shoe. Like, I would kill somebody, so I would never want to put anything anybody oh, through no. that. You so I kill? know if it's a man thing that y'all just can't, like, figure it out. But, like, it's not hard. <laughs> well, you know. I well, think it was hard. That's why it's a man thing. That's the problem. Hello. Stephanie, do you talk about that in your comments? Hello, sexy what? lady. Yeah. Hello. Oh, I put on for the ladies. No, I, Steph- you know. You know, it's a, it's a thing of maturity, man. And I think a lot okay. of times I will admit that women operate on a frequency of a maturity level a lot more readily available than men are. And so sometimes it takes us a while to get to the maturity level. Yes. But I will say I have a theory because men are so much chasing the woman in front of them. And so I think a lot of times our maturity level falls behind a woman because you look at, say, middle school, you know, that eighth grade guy is trying to holler at the eighth grade girl but she's dealing with the guy in high school so we're forever like behind the woman but she's with the high school guys but she's in eighth grade you're in ninth grade you want to talk to the ninth grade girl she's talking to the upper class senior guys right i was dating a 20 year old when i was 17 and it it, it still perpetuates itself (laughs) all the way you know you're a senior guy you gotta always keep going yeah that's jail bait yeah, you gotta, you gotta always keep going backwards so (laughs) i think almost you're 17 he's 21 that's no 20 20 20. Oh, oh so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost. I still don't like it. Next year, it's okay. Yeah, that's that's not, borderline. Yeah. yeah. And we're yeah. doing that process, catching up behind all the way through college. Freshman in college, you can't get with the girl. She's dating the Greek guys because you don't have a car or nothing. You get in college, you're an upperclassman. They're dating grown men. Now you're, you know what I mean? So the men yeah. are always got to go backwards to the wait, girls. Wait, wait, let's ask a question. Wait. Everyone in here, have you all cheated on a woman at least once? All the guys? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah. I didn't. I didn't. And then y'all gonna brag about Wait, it. So I don't you know. I didn't, no, no, no. There was some bragging. You asked, you asked a question. Right. Hell yeah. I didn't, I didn't, that sounds kind of bragging. I didn't, I didn't brag. I, I didn't stop admit cheating it. until like this yesterday. Year. <laughs> yeah, there you go. No, I'm dead serious. Because it's like a light switch went off and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore. Right. And then like, it was just, I'm done. <laughs> Why is my mom watching? Like, tell him, baby. Mama raised you right. Shout but, out to mom. Uh, yeah. But, it's you know, not, it's, <laughs> not, it's not a brag. It's like, yo, this is, I did this. So I do know that perspective, though, too. Got I can it. talk talk to dudes and I can tell girls now, too. Like, yo, I know I used to be one of them dudes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and I think literally, it's literally, just, like I said, it was like just a switch went off. And I was like, hmm. No, I'll just be honest. And you know how much easier life was? Yes. And I was like, hey, listen, yes. do, 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 do. And I'm honest. And they're like, yeah. oh, okay, cool. I'm like, I, I, feel, I feel that now, man. You know, I'm in a relationship and I do not cheat. And I think it's kind of refreshing not to it's be able to so like. It's so easy. Leave your you phone, phone out. You can phone out. That's the biggest stress. The wow. phone used to be the stress. I don't like, got no, I don't got no oh. code. It's flipped up. You I'm can, so okay. It's just flipped up. Because yes. you know when you the flip The ringer's it, on. You put yeah. it on the opposite <laughs> side. When she says on this side, you put it on that side. Like, nah, bro. It's down in my pocket with my hand yeah. in the pocket like I don't you <laughs> you, know, you, you know i be kind of pumping myself on the chest because i have like my girl has a car with uh apple airplay in it and yep. i hook my airplay to the car oh, and yeah. i'm not no stress i'm, like, I'm good come on yeah. one of these hoes better call me right now <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no hoes gonna i can answer the like, phone through bluetooth now i'm like what up what up what up <laughs> <laughs> but yeah what about you have you cheated before no. you, you seem like you've been a good yes, guy yes brett see it's no, possible brett, 14 no, I'm years a sensitive, dude, For, here's 14 years you said yeah and it's been hard. No, 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 wait. Did you cheat before you was married? Did no. Did you ever cheat in any no. relationships? No. Nah. Okay, I've been cheated true. on. Oh, wow. See? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I've been I cheated on. And then, and every time, it's just like, do, I've had girls, I've had two women, like the women right before I met my wife, I almost proposed to this other chick. When she cheated on me, she got mad at me and physically threw, she worked at a storage, like one of these storage <laughs> places, so she had them janitor keys, the big ass... And she got mad at me because when I found out she was cheating, I just went like this. I was like, all right, you got until 
Why you 11.30 tonight to get your shit out. Call your dad. Facts. Call your brother. Have him bring the bring. Have your dad bring his trailer and get all your shit. And uh, but I'm gonna be totally peaceful and shit. Uh, but you gotta go. I'm mad and I was like, and, and she was like, no, no, no. Let's talk about this. And I was like, no. no. I'm mad. And she she, at she lost her cool on me. She kept coming. She would like go and put her shit away and like start packing up shit. And then she'd come back into the room and think we were gonna talk about it. And every time I was like, no. Yeah. Wow. You aren't worthy. You aren't worthy of a motherfucker like me. You yeah. gotta go. Bye. Oh, yeah. right. I, I got and then she, when I, I said that at, to her, after she, the fourth time she came in, she fucking hauled off and threw them goddamn keys and they hit me in the chest, left like a big old oh. blue bruise in the middle of my chest. I was like, yeah. now, now, you gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I want to hear. I want to hear. I want to hear from all the people been cheated on and the cheaters. We we gonna open up the lines. Yeah. Anybody call in? Let us know your cheating story. If yeah. you've been cheated on, or if you cheated on somebody and you learned your lesson, or if you're still a cheater. You know, there are habitual <laughs> cheaters out there. Absolutely. Yeah. Call yeah, us at three one zero nine eight six 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 one zero. Once again, that number is three one zero nine eight six 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 one zero. I think we got a. Do we have a caller? We. Oh. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, wait, Ro, we got a caller? We, no, no, not yet. Oh, oh, okay. Not, I thought no, we got no, a caller. No, All right, we're going to keep it flowing then. We're going to keep it We're going to keep it flowing. You know, I do have some cheating stories too for you, boy. My my college is. I think everybody should don't, go don't, to college. Yeah, don't, don't, but I'm yeah. not going to go into don't, it. Don't, don't do college and cheating because that's part of college. Yeah. It's well, after I was, college. I was, you grow up when you get your degree. I wasn't in relationships in college, though. So I'm not. It wasn't cheating in college. Exactly. That's cool. But I'm just it, saying, it's, it's not. It don't count. No, I wasn't in relationships. I just you were just doing your thing. Yeah. Okay. So so and now we do. Have, we we do have a caller. Actually. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. So caller, come call us in. Hello. You're on the Funny Don't Stop show. Yeah. Caller, what's up? Hi. Is this the radio station? Yes. yes. It's the Funny Don't Stop show. Who are we talking with? This is Stephanie's mama. Oh. <laughs> oh <laughs> mama. Hang up. No. <laughs> it's about to go down. Dear mama. <laughs> hey mom. What's on your mind today, Hi, mom? Jesus. <laughs> she knows my story about the cheating. What's your, what's your story, mom? My mom's yeah. been hurt, y'all. She's been through it, so she don't play. Um, <laughs> her stepfather, who I have to give him props in terms of a stepfather, he was amazing. Been with her for since she was five. Okay. But he is one cheating fool, and he's just not smart enough that he wouldn't get cut, caught every single time. Like wow. dumb shit, y'all. Like for one. real, stupid. <laughs> like I, I help my mom like stake him out. <laughs> Men, <laughs> men can be stupid well, in that's because we world. don't really think it through. We just right. act. And, and you right. know, sometimes, guys, we have our subconscious mind, and we actually want to get caught. When I look at back at the times when I've got caught cheating, I can really sit back and think now in my conscious state that subconsciously I wanted to get caught. And I didn't know how to leave out the relationship. I, I don't think I ever wanted to. Oh, yeah. yeah I sabotage relationships when I cheated. You know what? But let me say this. Um, the hurt that it causes, especially when you've been in a relationship for many, many years, because I was with him for 20 some odd years. I just left him, what, two months ago. Wow. Um, and you get caught cheating. Now, mind you, I'm a technical super freak. I'm able to break into his phone. Oh, his laptop, no. Whatever. That's where I get it oh, from. Oh, <laughs> oh, my boyfriend you listening. No my idea. number is 818. <laughs> <laughs> I think every woman has that ability. But yeah, the exactly. Thing is that you, what you don't realize is that women can sense it before. You know it. You even know it. We're Jedi's. You know did you stay? Sun, can I ask a question? Did you stay with? Did you how? How many times did you take him back? Mm-hmm. I actually took him back mm-hmm. too many times. Okay, mm-hmm. I was just. Because let I was just wondering. As a matter of fact, yeah. Just so I can, just so you get an idea, we were separated for three years. He begged me for three years to come back to him. Okay. I did in December. I relocated from the East Coast to the West Coast in December with the you, you know with the promise that he was going to make things right. Blah blah blah. He did the same shit. Excuse me, the same thing again. <laughs> no, there's you, you mom, can say shit. That, you, you can, can say, say shit, shit on here. Yeah. Also, no, the, I, that's always fascinated me because my mom was talking bad about my dad, and they got a divorce after 28 years. And wow. she, your mom, my mom was drinking wine with me when she came out to visit out here in California, and she was like, "You know, your dad cheated on me before I got married." <laughs> Wow. Before we got married, right. and I was like, "Well, why the fuck did you get married? What are you t- like? Come on, mama!" And you yeah. know, like, but, but, but you know what? But that you was know, the thing. She kept holding it over his head, so they were never going to get over right. that. Right. You know what I mean? Everyone, and, right. you know, so that's what I talked to her about. Though. So everybody makes mistakes. So okay, yes, everyone deserves a, a chance. So mm-hmm. you know, I'm not saying you know that they're not. Some women just will not give a chance. First time you're gone. Some, you know what? I believe people make mistakes. Now, if you're going to keep perpetuating, keep doing the same thing, come on, man. Yeah. yeah, we we understand, yeah. mom. But so, mom, have you found love, or are you still looking for love? Well, it's only been two what? months, Ed. Give her a chance. Well, 
um, to be honest with you, if, if uh, I'm 48 years old, I think I still look damn good for my age. If I don't say, if I don't mind saying myself, if it happens, it happens. But I'm a very hard worker. I'm not afraid to, to be by myself. I can hold it down by myself. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That well, that's is the best up, approach mom. for so, everybody. Thank you for those words of wisdom, Mom. Yes. We're going to check back yeah. in with you. We're going to love to have you down here one time, you, too, Mom. Hey, wait, wait. Before you let it go, uh, it's uh -huh. 818-645. Oh, Dano's trying yeah, to shoot your mom. number. Uh-oh. He's a little red bone. Dano's serious. So, <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, Mom. You. We love you. <laughs> Thanks She's for calling so in. Crazy. We appreciate that. Thank D you so Dino much. was real with that one, though. Be honest with you. He was trying to shoot at your mom for real. Dino I single. Mean, you know, she she's trying to get out there. To visit me this summer and we'll see what happens. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. And your mom sounds like she's straight Puerto Rican. Yeah, New York Rican. Yeah, exactly. New, New York Rican. <laughs> like AOC. Ayo. Yo. <laughs> so Deshaun, man, you know I yeah. got I saw the notes on you, man. I wanted to ask you, so I know you're opening up. Who you're opening up for? I'm going to let you tell it. Uh, Lonnie Love, if uh, if you don't know who Lonnie she is. Love. This is what yeah. I like to tell people. A okay. lot of black people, they'll be like, oh, okay, I go, have you seen Soul Plane? Yes. There was yeah. uh, the um, the security guards. There was two. There was Monique, and she's the other yeah, one. Lonnie, she's Lonnie, Lonnie. But she's on The Real right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's on the daytime talk show. I think they're like in season six. She's done one. Yep. Yep. Emmys and everything. And so working with her, though, is really awesome. It's like she... She was like one of the, like her and Rodney Perry were the first two headliners that took me out with them. And I learned a lot, oh, like just seeing how to treat, uh, not just the features, the hosts and stuff like that. Like she tips everybody after the show. Like I, that was that was new to me. I was like, what, what, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> like she started uh, handing me money. I was like, stop it. Don't, <laughs> this good. is a setup. And, and then like, yeah, man, she's amazing. Like literally anytime we go back to a second city, the like the, the hotel staff remembers her, the bar staff remembers her, like, and they'll be hooking us up with all kind of beverages and stuff Spreading for free, love. and because they know they like, yo, we can either charge her or we can uh, slide get that tip, yeah, yeah, and get right. that more all tip yeah. money. And right. she's literally amazing, and she's very funny. That's too. That's a good example of professionalism. I actually have a good affinity for Lonnie because we went to college together. Wow, so, you went to Prairie View, yeah, PV, okay. come on, huh? PV yeah. alumni, baby. And anytime we go down to Houston, all her soul worlds come out. Yeah. All of them come out, yeah. and they loud. But yeah, I love we, Deltas. Like, we, all my family girl members are Deltas. I was kind of like an honorary Delta. We used to be so <laughs> tight, man. I won't even go into the depths of the, my Delta stories, but yeah. I got, I got, some good I got mad stories. love. I got mad love for Delta. Shout out to the AKs, too. So, we, yeah, so, but PV, man, HBCU love, oldest institution in the state of Texas, 1876. If you know anything about PV people, we are super passionate about PV. Oh, yes, absolutely. Sandra Bland, PV alumni. So I'm always having affinity for her as well because she went to PV as well as she was from Chicago. So we always have this kind of connection. And I'm Detroit. Always... She's from Detroit. Shot town <laughs> Who? What? Lonnie. Lonnie's from Detroit. No, I was talking about Sandra Bland. Oh, I was, I was like, no, she's definitely from no, Detroit. No, I'm talking about Sandra Bland. Sorry, sorry, Sandra <laughs> Bland. Sandra Bland is from Chicago. Oh, okay, okay. So, we, two different but as yeah. we, we, got, we got a lot to talk about, but we're going to take a break right here. It's been flowing good. I've been loving y'all energy. Yes, we got good energy. Yes, we're going to keep it yes. going. I kind of hate to stop the break, but we're going to get in the mix with my man, DJ Dano. Thank you, Seth. We're going to do a little yeah. something, man. I got this new artist I uncovered. His name is Young Liar, uh -oh. and he's got oh, some no. heat. It's on fire, and you're oh, going to love it. Is it's, it really? Oh, it's dope. You're going <laughs> to love it. Just trust me. Young Liar in the mix. Let's go. Let's do it. Well, All right. The wheels, Ready, man. DLC? Let's go. Let's do it.
Hey, shout out yeah, to all the birthday yeah. Yeah. What's up? What's up? I love that song, Dano. Dude, that's, that's a fun song. Happy birthday to, to you. you. That song Happy is hilarious. To <laughs> you. Forget 50 Happy Cent. Happy birthday. Man, where the Ciroc at? We don't even have a Ciroc this week, Dude. man. Why is there no Ciroc? I'm on natural energy today. All we got is green tea. Yeah, we got green tea in this joint. What's up, Should everybody? Welcome back to no. the Funny Don't Stop, Stop Show. We in the building. We had a good first half. We about to take it home on the second half, yo. Everybody remember the phone number. Call in 310-986-6610. We was just jamming to the Young Liar on a, on a break, man. I could yeah, have kept, kept it going with Young Liar, y- man. Young Liar is the truth. Yeah, y'all go check him out, Young Liar. But we, we, got, a, we got a singer in the studio, though. What? <clears throat> yeah, my man over here to my left. He is the singer extraordinaire. Hi, what's up, man? Oh, uh, he does R&B. Your, oh, he yeah, tell us about your singer. Is R&B uh, dead, man? No, R&B is not dead. It's just kind of got... Anyway, it's just kind of dumb now. <laughs> but it's, it's kind of dumb? It's good. Like, yeah. people call themselves the king of R&B and shit. I'm like, come on now. Would you, would, you, would you sing the national anthem? Would that be something you would Hell do? yeah, I want to sing the national anthem as many times at as many professional stadiums as I can if I ever get the opportunity. I'd love it. I'll cue it up. Really? Okay. We're going to get back to that. We got a caller in. What's up? What's up? Caller, are you on the line? We got a caller in. Hello, what's the view? Yo, who is this? Yo, 
Yo, this is Kenny. Now I'm calling to check on Stephanie. I see her up there doing her thing. Okay. Hey. hey. You, know, you know that? This is one of your fans? You know who that is? Her DMs I don't know. are up, really popping. I told you. She yeah, her DMs stay lit. <laughs> yeah. He sound like he's at happy hour. <laughs> <laughs> hold, 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 yeah, put the blunt down, bro. Put the blunt down. Don't you wish you could blunt blunts through the phone? <laughs> What's on your mind, brother? Man. What's on your mind? Today? That, that whole um, character thing she was talking about, that shit's smooth. Like, there's so many rappers with rap, whack ass rap styles and shit. Yeah. Like, yes. oh, God, like, gotta make fun of that shit. Like, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> It's like you can't even tell the difference no more, though. That was my point. Like, you know, even with it's Alex's like Young Liar. <laughs> it's called mumble rap. Mumble rap. I, I, I like this. Rap. I, I kind of like this new age rap. They just play in the background, but I'm not vibing to it. It's not like hip hop. It's you know. not on my playlist. There's no words. Sure. There's, there's no <laughs> words. It's <laughs> literally <laughs> him. How many him in there? Where are you calling from? <laughs> Caller, where are you calling from, brother? Well, right now I'm in fucking Kansas. I'm from Cali, though. Okay, you oh, okay? Oh, long distance, nice. What Thank you me. doing out there in Kansas? I'm a truck driver, so you know I be moving and shit. Okay, okay. well you gotta stay up, brother. You sound like you about to fall right. asleep. He man. cannot be driving in this state, <laughs> though. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're pulled over. <laughs> He's gonna eat that one too many. Like, oh, this is a driving out here. <laughs> well, well, why you got Stephanie right now on the line? What do you gotta say to her, man? What's what's up? What's your words of wisdom to her? Say, just keep doing your thing. Don't stop. Fuck a hater, you know. <laughs> All right, brother. Thanks, Kenny. Well, well, thank you for having us, man. And thank you for calling in the show. And stay tuned to the Funny Don't Stop show. We thank you for having us, man. Thank Good you luck so much. Yeah, right. We appreciate that. Big time. Yeah, so how's it feel? You having fans call you? Is it like still shell shock to you? It's, or are you just I'm, like a natural thing for you to know? It's n no, it's not natural. Every time I just feel like, wow, me? Like, I don't know. It's crazy. <laughs> it yeah. Really is crazy. <laughs> Yeah, back in my party days, I used to have that, but you know, nowadays, you know, I'm kind. Of, I always say I'm like Clark Kent in L.A. and I was oh. like Superman in Houston. That's wow. hilarious. So when I go wow. back, you know, I take my cape off and you know, I know people and things of that nature. But in L.A., I'm cool being Clark Kent. I was right. gonna say, are you happy? But you know Clark what? Oh, There's yeah, a lot of Clark it. Kents yeah. out here. I love and they were Superman at their hometown. Right. 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 Yeah. yeah. And, and, and I, L.A. humbles people. And I, I, lo <laughs> I, I love it. Yeah. I love. I love the position. I love the opportunity, and it allows you to actually grow. Cause yeah. who wants to be a big fish in a little pond? And be able not to grow exactly. where you can yep. be a small fish in the ocean. And I think that's what L.A. really brings in and opportunities. And I feel like that's why everybody wow. moves. That's why I moved. You know, mm -hmm. that's probably why y'all moved. Yep. Well, yeah, said if you took your glasses off, dude, I can totally see Superman jumping out. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah, what was that about? Like, they dead ass couldn't recognize him over some glasses. Some glasses. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they weren't even shades. It was like was regular, regular glasses. glasses. Hey, do you guys remember the best moment in the whole series of Superman? What, what was, was it? What? It was the very first time he turns into Superman. He goes in the phone booth and comes out in the suit, and it's the best moment in cinema. There's a there's a black dude, an older black dude in a purple suit or some shit, and he goes, God damn, Jack, that is one bad outfit. <laughs> That's the best shit I gotta ever. look that up. That sounds you gotta funny. Look so wait a wait, second. Is that from a TV talking, show? No, you're, no, talking, no, no. you're talking about the I'm Christopher about Reeves. The, the, the original. Christopher Reeves. Yeah. First time he turns... First time he turns into Superman, he comes out of the phone booth as Superman, and there's a pimp walking by, and he goes, "Yeah, hilarious. God damn, Jack, that's yeah. one bad outfit." <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. that I can see that. Now I gotta go watch the best moment in cinema. Hilarious. Because that's hilarious. like post seventies era, so I'm sure he was like seeing the cape and <laughs> yeah, the red that was boots. Yeah, very early eighties. Mm -hmm. Very yeah, early. Yeah, 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 I grew yeah, up yeah. on Superman. I, I did too. It. I mean, I, I I used to. I loved Christopher Reeves. The first like two or three, I thought was great. The first, two, the second one. When uh, the the three had gotten yeah, yeah, in, yeah, yeah. In, in trouble, and, yeah. and then they had to um, uh, General Zod. Yeah, I thought it was great. Mm -hmm. Number two, I'm always making Superman references, like I just did. I think it's always kind of like this symbolic analogy to life. It's like, yo, we all have this kryptonite that's keeping us back from certain things, yeah. and we all have a at least on the male side, you know, we have this woman that we chasing, and she might somewhat like us and might not like us, but we have to do our thing to actually close the deal. And whatever it is in life, you need to do to make it's just love being happen. faithful to it. her. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, here's the thing. Here's the funny thing about being faithful. I was one of my my parents been married 
over 40 years. That's awesome. Wow. Still to this day, my parents are married. And so that funny thing you just said was, that was the one principle my parents gave me. Just be, fel- just be faithful. And I was one of those dudes that thought that's all you had to do is just be faithful. Right. Unfortunately, yeah. to what makes a successful relationship isn't just being faithful. True. Yeah. Right. Um, so, you know, I think although it's important, I think it's also important for men to understand to be well-rounded and under to be malleable to your, to your mate. And I think a lot of times as men, if you grew up around old school men, you just who you are and a woman is malleable to you. But now that we have more successful women, women are professional, you think it has to be a more more well-rounded relationship in order to... Well, it's not like what we is, have a relationship what is talking actual, about. I don't know the actual definition of malleable. But I want to use that. <laughs> Mobile. People saying it, I was like, man, I'm going to use that tomorrow. <laughs> Malle- I malleable. To Once I find out what it means. Yes. <laughs> malleable means, means you're moldable like clay. Yep, exactly. Exactly. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't want to I got that. that. I didn't want to walk up. Listen, right. you look real malleable to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, said, you said Malibu? <laughs> Malibu? <laughs> now, what's, what's your advice on, you know, you seem to be successful in your relationship. What's your advice on relationships, man? I'm always experiencing don't, different outcomes. Don't, um, don't allow the communication to dull, no matter right. what. Even right. if it gets hard and even if you're pissed at each other, you got to be like, look, hey, I know you don't want to talk about this shit or we disagree on this shit. But are we debating or are we communicating? Because if you're debating, every, we're in this time where everybody thinks that debate is necessary. No, it's not. Debate is competitive talking. Conversation yeah. is when two people are literally trying to find a, 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 an area where they can see each other's perspectives and actually find a solution. A yeah. If you're debating, you're just trying to win. That's when they're malleable. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he couldn't yeah. wait to get that off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I told you once I learned the definition. Yeah. Like, I exactly. And you know the thing is, I guess my experiences with black women, so you gotta already be quote malleable <laughs> to the fact that it's gotta have a once a month argument. This is just the part that just comes with par with the course. No, no, but you see, it doesn't have to be an argument. argument. You gotta it's be ready. Could be a debate. No, you. An- Argument. You can tell he's not with a black woman. You what? gonna have you got it's just part of the cyclical relationship. Oh, you talking about Brett? Yeah, Brett. Oh, you can tell Brett. Yeah, I dated it? black women. Yeah, and you what happened? You gotta have an argument. It's gotta be an argument. That's just part of the process. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is with sisters. Well, he's not dating her anymore, so yeah, that's true. Yeah, that was but a long I, time ago. But, but I also grew up with a family. Uh, I mean, like a family of three very, very strong, opinionated black women, and their kids call me Uncle Brett, and their mom calls me son, and yeah. So it's funny that people think that because I grew up in hokey pokey Kansas in the middle of hokey nothing pokey. that I've never <laughs> knew or <laughs> met black people. I was like, no, nah, I know. Black but that's a, but that's also like, I don't know, because of growing up on the farm when I was really young, you know what I mean? When I got any opportunity to come out into the world, I'm seeking it out. Like, mm-hmm. it's not like by accident that I have been doing chocolate Sundays and Mo Better Mondays for over 13 years. You know what I mean? It's because I enjoy <laughs> I enjoy that energy. I enjoy, and because you're funny, though. and yeah, you know what? Yeah, and also, it. well, That's and also, important. also, if you can't kill it in in it on chocolate Sundays or or Mo Better Mondays, then right. You think you're a dope comic? You're, you're not. You're, you're, you're not. You're, you're, you're not. I got you know booked what? for chocolate Sundays two years in advance. Oh yeah, I was yeah. Just about to say that. yeah. It takes a while. It takes a while, especially when you're new or new yeah. to them. They'll they'll be like like if you call today, they'll be like, oh, what's your 2021 looking like? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know from the yeah, exactly. And they don't call and remind you or anything. You better, <laughs> you better remember. You better keep that bad. same phone, because otherwise you forget your date. So, I was I would say this: Brett is the new Gary Owen. No, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. Don't say that. I just, I mean, I'll just be, I'll be totally honest. I'm super opinionated. Okay. Um, but there's, anyway, whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, well, right. well, well, I, don't, I don't like, okay. I don't apple, apple. I want to no, stay on No that. disrespect to Gary Owens. No he's disrespect funny to Gary too. Yeah, He's got a great career. He's got, he does his thing. Yeah. And that's all I can say. I'm not that's PC. Good. You know what I mean? I don't care about Gary Owens. You okay. know, he ain't no friend of mine. I'll just say, I'm not I'll a comedian, just, so I don't have to stay PC. But on the topic of Gary Owens, you know, there's no, a, a I'm just Owen, me. That's it. O, no S. It's okay. Just oh, Owen. whatever. They <laughs> changed my names. They've changed my last name. My last Man. name ain't even is my precious name. So he Gary Owens. <laughs> with <an> S today. <laughs> I thought your last we name. Are, I thought your last name was we, Brass we, Balls. We are balls. culturally <laughs> appropriating his name today. Wait, but no, okay. no. Seriously, on a serious note, 
um, you know, amongst the black comedian world, there is this topic about, you know, cultural appropriation with other cultures of people coming into the black domain. What's your thoughts and feelings on that, seeing that a lot of black people don't really get down with Gary Owens because they feel like you have a guy that's not part of the black culture coming into the black culture, singing, um, doing a lot of things that's part of what we deem the black culture. How do you deal with that conversation or are you dealing with that conversation? What's your thoughts on that? I have, I will admit I haven't had that many platforms to cover it, but my belief is this. I'm not a smart man by any stretch. <laughs> I'm not but a I will smart say, man. But, yeah, they, I but like I, chocolate. Right, but I will say this. There's one thing I'm 100% certain of, cannot be argued. I don't give a fuck who you are. None of us had any factor in what we look like or what race we are. So whether people want to accept it or not, pride and prejudice are both symptoms of stupidity. <laughs> So I have a problem. So I have a problem. I have a problem with the idea of appropriation at all because, like, I didn't. And you were saying the Superman story, how it, you think it kind of deals with us. I think the Superman story is relevant to humans because we didn't have any fucking say in where we landed on this planet. Like, Superman just got bumped up. His spaceship crashed in Kansas, and he got raised by two people on a farm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That is how I see that story, because none of us had any choice what we are. But when we're here, it's just a matter of what we do. Is history relevant and have all the bad and awful things that have happened in history with between the races and between humans on this planet? That's absolutely relevant, and you need to gain knowledge in that if you're going to speak up in this world. But I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want. And I don't give a Period. fuck if so, any. So like, what would you say to your fellow colonizers or people that, colonizers? Come, from your, that come from your side of the, <laughs> the, the paradigm? <laughs> now that we've spoken to. Uh, fine. I'm not going deep. I'm just no, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying what, what, would be that con what would be that conversation with them? How would, oh, Dano. No, wait. No, go, that's no, the no, fact. Edit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sensitive. Don't edit. What, yeah. what, what's the real question? I don't answer. What, no, what I was saying, what is the conversation that you're having in the rooms with fellow Caucasian, Anglo-Saxon, Irishman. How, what is your conversation mm. on blackness in, okay. that, in that paradigm? All right. I've had Saxon. white people that are very close to me say things like drunk on a beach where it's just me and a bunch of white people. And I'll get a couple of drinks in them and they'll be like, hey, I'm not trying to be disrespectful, Brett, but I have to I have to ask, man. Like, why are you doing all this black stuff out there in Hollywood? Like, you're never going to be accepted by them. They're never going to. It's never going to pay off for you. It's not true. Uh, because you are always going to be an outsider. And I go, okay. And I said, but the thing I always shoot back is this bullshit propaganda that Fox and Trump and those motherfuckers are running on mm -hmm. is these people's fears. Like a bunch of white people really believe that they're losing ground or status inside of our communities and shit and it's just not true like i had a i had older i've had multiple older white people that are college educated tell me that the most prejudiced the, the most discriminated against individuals in our society right now are white men and i'm like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> yeah that's that's not like crazy. i've missed okay i've missed out on a couple opportunities where they've told me flat out you're dope you're funny as shit but this right here is a black project so we don't think you fit for this project right here. And that's, by the way, that's not, I'm not being held back. I have a ton of opportunities just out of the luck of looking like I look. But I also realize my responsibility that I have to explain. Like when I walk on stage for years, like like Deshaun said, doing the Savoy and Inglewood or doing Chocolate Sundays or doing Mo Better Mondays, where I walk out on stage to an all black audience, I can feel that. It's a blessing and a curse, but I can feel energies. And I feel a percentage of the audience is going, man, fuck. Ugh, I hope this white boy don't suck. Uh, yeah. And then when I walk off stage, they'll come up and they'll be like, yo, motherfucker, you was the truth, son. No, you was the truth, bro. And, 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 and that's what, and, and that's what the shit. thing, that's what the unifier is in comedy and if, acting. If you're funny, and yeah. It's bringing people together in all different paradigms yeah. to come together. So I just I wanted to see what your truth is. Fine, like I'll people. just say it because you said you don't know Gary. I don't know Gary. I've never even met him. But I'll just say this. I think there's a lot of styles in this in, in, that get people to where they go, and I think he, I think it's pandering. I got you. I think the whole I got a black wife and I have half white, half black kids, so therefore I got my, I got my, that's my credentials, that's my, my black card. card. That shit drives me nuts. Like, no, I'm, first I, of all, good. I'm not trying to belong. Well, that's good. I, my I belief think... is if we're free, and we're free people. That where the fuck would the desire to want to belong to any tribe, any group, come from anyway? 
That's, I get that. That doesn't make sense to me. It's I always blown I th- my I mind. Think, I think we all are trying to find out how to survive in this game, and I think we were talking yeah. about it earlier. What is you know, it's no different than a groupie. It's no different than anybody else. We're mm-hmm. all just trying to get ahead in this game, whether it be through corporate America or whether it be through acting and entertainment. Let yeah. me ask y'all a question. You know, I, seeing that everybody's here, actors and comedians, except <laughs> for me. You know, who would y'all most love to work with? What I'm gonna start with you, Stephanie. Who who would you most love to work oh, with? Man. I uh, I absolutely love Jim Carrey. Um, he's such a character. Like I feel like he's like a white guy version of me. And I know that's like, <laughs> cliche to say, but like he's like I was trying to do impressions and characters like because of him when I was a little kid. Um, another one I love is John Leguizamo. If I could bring Lucille yeah, Ball hot. back, I would. Ooh, she's like nice. iconic. So nice. those, uh, John Leguizamo, Jim Carrey, I think are my top two. Wow, what about nice. you, Deshaun? Oh, man, that was good. I still watch Lucy, though. That's yes, just... me too. Her, no, hers, I, I, that, I, I, that I, actually was really good. Cause no, Lu- if you, but if you Lucy watch Ball it, so is, good. is incredible. If you watch it, like a She's lot, dope. like the structure of the sitcom, you can see a lot of sitcoms that were like today and okay. back in the day that are like, oh, man, you can trace that back to Lucy. Yeah, Lucy's probably like before the that, but that's all I know. But no, there's a lot of episodes wow. where they'll be doing something. You'll go, oh, my gosh. You might have seen it in Martin or Jane yeah. Fox or. Like all them shows, it's crazy. Like she was like the blueprint. I always felt yeah. like he was a little misogynist to to Ooh. Lucy. Well, that, that, uh, was a, that was a time, time though. That time, right? Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. yeah. remember the honeymoon yeah. is one of these days, Alice. Right to the moon. Like, right to the moon, her. Alice. To the kisser. Yeah. But you know what though? I, I was laughing about that too the other day. Like how. They got fully dressed to go to bed back in the day. Right. Because they, they had could, separate yeah. beds. Fully, separate beds. Because they, they couldn't show back then. They couldn't show like two, a but couple now, in bed together. Yeah. Now. Yeah. <laughs> It's yeah. like it's now, just crazy how now, TV has changed. They couldn't even say pregnant at one point. They could on TV. They couldn't yeah. say that. Wow. Now I just saw I saw like the 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 first show of the new season of She's Got to Have It, and there's just oh my gosh, yeah, her and her girl just. I was watching the, hope, the opening scene. I'm like, oh, that's the only reason I started watching the show. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, hello, I'm in. They just fist bumped that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah we, we did. did. <laughs> but if you see the, to, if you see the original, that's how the original came in. What, what? the movie? The, what? Yeah, the original. Yeah, I know, but I wasn't gonna watch the new the reboot. I'm not really a reboot right. watcher. Mm-hmm. But right, then right. someone was like, just watch. I'm like, all right. Then I was like, oh snap. Because oh, <laughs> that's the quickest way to get me to watch something. Throw some nakedness in there from some women. They, they, I'm gonna watch and it. And they went in for like ten minutes. Yes, they like, did. Like what? So now oh, the, the opening scene. Oh, pretty. The, yeah. the black chick and who else? Her girlfriend. I don't I know. Gonna, I didn't see. Look, I, I, after I, I saw the first ten minutes, I had to go take a break. <laughs> you know, okay. we, we gonna keep it rolling. But. Oh, but wait, real quick. I want to say because my uh, <laughs> one of my uh, I went live and somebody was like, "Yo, tell." And this is from a white person too. Just so you know, it said, uh, <laughs> "Equality is going to feel like oppression to white people." Okay. Yeah. Some white people, oh. and I was like, "Okay, that's deep." So I yeah, shout out, appreciate that. That was good. Um, so yeah. what was the question? I forgot what your question who, who was. Who would you most like to work with in, in the acting okay. community? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot, but like for free, for females, uh, Taraji. Um, I would really like to do Baby Boy too. Personally, I like to be Jody. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would. I'm not gonna lie. That was Smell amazing. Your dick. That was amazing. I was like, "Yes, you can." You <laughs> sniff it, smell it. I don't care. Um, but yeah, I think she's a great actress, by the way. Though I think she's beautiful, but she's great. And then almost every iconic. If I, if, if I could work with like Will Smith oh, yeah. or Don Cheadle, you know what's so crazy about Don? I just I was watching Ocean's Eleven. That's the first one, right? Yeah. His yeah. name's not in the end credits. Really? What? Yeah. Go watch it. His name does not pop up. I was like, wow. That's how. To, that's how. They're trying, to, they trying to throw my man backwards. It's a conspiracy. That's, you know, I was all there on it in my C-O-N- head. C O N conspiracy. <laughs> now, right. I would. I would like to work with all of them, but I definitely. I would like to work with Taraji, um, and I like to, like I said, Baby Boy too. You know, I, I of course I'm not an actor or a comedian, so but I would love to meet Halle Berry. I don't. I just have a thing for Halle Berry. You just want to meet her. I like. I can yeah. save. I can, I used to I can think save that. you, Hallie. All of these number nah, head just, guys. I can I, save just, you. It, it can't be you, everybody. Just, At some point, it's got to be you. Absolutely. Right. I, yeah. I can save you. And yeah. you just only want to meet her. Yeah, I would love to meet her. No, Just intellectual her. conversation, right? Oh, come like on. Like, you can be at a restaurant, and there she is, and there's an, up and and, up, and there's an open opportunity because she's waiting for a ballet, and you're like, hi, Hallie. No, no. no. So just <laughs> I said grass. No, just straight conversation. Just straight conversation. conversation. Huh. I don't just think there's anybody I want to just straight conversation. I know, just straight <laughs> just straight conversation. That's all. Right. all. Just all straight right. conversation. Because I think every man probably has approached her in a physical level and not in a mental level. So mm. initially, just all, just all conversation. That's mm. it. What's okay. going on in your brain? I don't, you know, I don't, really, I don't really want to know all that. Say you're touching. Yeah. You're touching. Yes. 
Yes, no. step you're not your touching, game up. You're not touching the body parts, though. You're touching no, the mental that. parts. Just the mental parts, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like soul. it's so mm-hmm. much. Mm-hmm. And it's things I'm mad at, you know, like, yo, as an African-American woman, like, there yo, you go. we Here need more comes. representation. Here he comes. You know what I mean? Just come, come on, man. Come with it. What come about, on, man. That's what about you? What about you, Brad? Who would you like to work with? Wilford Brimley. Um, Excuse us? <laughs> yeah, Wilford Brimley, the uh, the old guy from Cocoon. <laughs> that did the uh, really? wore the gla- yeah wore the it has yeah, glasses. He, he also had the, uh, the 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 mustache and stuff, and he told people to take their diabetes medication. That's that's what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> I want to work with him exact. because I, I just want to work with somebody that's going to make me look good on that's camera. That's hilarious. Oh, so, right. oh nice. Wow. That's what? It. You just pulled that one out of nowhere. I sent it to a- Alex actually when he asked me a picture. Of, I, he said, "Send a name and a picture." A- a- and he I said, sent him a picture that's of Wilfred Brimley. That's hilarious. I thought he said he was going to look it up because I had to look yeah. it up. I was like, "Who?" Yeah, is I know a- exactly. <laughs> what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah Wilfred Brimley. Brimley. Mm-hmm. I didn't get that memo. Yeah. He's old. And, well, actually, I don't think he's with us anymore, so that wouldn't happen. Wow. Oh, damn it. He'll still show up. I'm going to Google uh, him right now. Oh, actually, I'd like to work with Sam Elliott. Oh, the, you got the, the voices the now. Coor, the Coors, the banquet beer guy. Banquet. That's wow. funny. <laughs> banquet beers. And just, and, but I would write, I would only do it if I could write all of his lines and have him be like a very over the top homosexual. Like I would. <laughs> <laughs> like I would. And I'd have him be, I'd have, like, I already have the scene in my head where all he comes right. and sits next to me at a bar and goes, I was just noticing. <laughs> you look lonelier than a black Angus on a moonless night. Oh, wow. <laughs> so just, no broke back mountain. I was, I was just wondering. <laughs> that's that's basically I was just wondering how many drinks is it going to take to get you to come back to my place and uh, <laughs> drop those balls on my mustache. You've thought oh, about this yeah. for a while. I'm a little scared. He you has it all. Wow. He has it all. He's got like a whole scene. And I'll just be like, I don't want to really do that, man. I got a wife and kids and stuff, but you have a good night. Are you sure? My whiskers will tickle you. He he only wrote that oh scene. Not the whole scene. He got the rest a whole of the movie needs to still be developed, <laughs> but <laughs> but that scene. Uh, that got night, it. well, that I'd smoked something that night and um, some good. It was good, and uh, I wrote that scene down. So I, you know, I'm, I'm, funny don't stop, show people. Funny don't stop. Yeah, I admire y'all being an actor and being a comedian because it takes a certain type of hustle and grind out here, man. It, it much like in corporate America, but you guys got to constantly stay working, grinding and pushing. So I just want to give y'all a shout out for the Appreciate journey that, that y'all are on cool. and wish y'all much success in y'all journey. And I want to see y'all on a big stage in some capacity because it takes determination, right? Yes. So I think that's important. I mean, we, we was talking what last week about determination. I guess we'll talk about it again this week. You know, it was like a black woman from Texas that had a GoFundMe. She had Mm -hmm. a, she was in physics or I think she had a PhD. She was working on a PhD program and she had an internship. So I'll give you all the backstory. She had, she was, she had, was working on a PhD. She got an internship at NASA in Houston. She didn't have the money to get to the program Mm -hmm. to accept her year long kind of internship program. Mm -hmm. And so she had her kid and she was just trying. So she did a GoFundMe and she raised $8,000 like in one day for just enough money to get to travel to get to where she was going. And I thought that's like a great story of like inspiration. You know, we hear these GoFundMe stories. What what were you going to say? Well, I was going to say GoFundMe is amazing when it's used for things like that. But they be like girls on there like, oh, GoFundMe, I need red bottoms. Like. I really? want to get my boobs done. And like, yes, and people pay for it. I'm like, what? Have you ever done a GoFundMe before? Um, I have because a friend of mine passed away and, um, you know, they needed help with the funeral expenses. So oh, yeah, that's a I good just, cause. I raised yeah. money for it. Nice. Sorry to hear that. My social media so it was, success- it was successful? Yeah, no, we, we got the full amount that we needed full for the funding, funeral. Full funding, nice. Yeah. Very cool. So, nice. so, so do you put like an expense report up or a receipt afterwards to show everybody, look, I, this is what went with y'all money? Is there like accountability with GoFundMe? I don't, or? I don't think there needs to be accountability i'm a pretty like humble person i don't like to flex or nothing so i'm like yo can y'all help cool if like you want to help you don't want to help you're not going to be like yeah i want a shout out because you know so right. i don't i didn't think the need to like show the proof but the, sh- the proof of the funeral was like that, that happened yeah. <laughs> you know what that i mean enough. like yeah. y'all i'm not who's gonna do that it's terrible <laughs> Deshaun, you ever did a gofundme uh no i have not not to say i'm above it i just haven't had a reason to yeah. What, mm-hmm. what about you, Brett? You've done nope. a GoFundMe before? Never done a GoFundMe. For that script he's writing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> script. I think, yeah. you know, this gave me an idea. By the way, let's shout out her name, though. Georgia State student's black single mom, India, India Jackson, India is the Jackson. one that's doing the internship with yeah. NASA. Yeah, that's, that's, awesome. a, that's a big deal, man. That's and I huge. Think huge. Supporting people yes. with their journeys, even with the funeral, I think that brings back the humanity in life. We don't have that much anymore. 
I yeah. don't know. I, I, I've never done a GoFundMe before. Um, I think I might want to do one to start a business. Just like black economics, pull our money together. It's funny, we were talking about Black Wall Street earlier mm -hmm. because he's from a town an hour and a half away. Um, and I think that's something, you know, within our community that we got to get back to is collective money, collective right. real estate, just bringing Agreed. ourselves together. You know, we try to come together when it's an atrocity, but we don't never really come together when it's something for a good cause. So I think yeah. Yeah. that's something we got to all look for, yeah. forward to. I seen something like that the other day on social media. It said people, like, they'll wait till you die, then they'll fly from everywhere to come see you, but won't nobody come visit you when you hear Nipsey Hussle. Like, Nipsey Hussle. No, literally, yeah. you said it. Like, I was thinking about the whole Nipsey Hussle thing. Like, I felt... First of all, is it me or do you feel like it's kind of like wrong to try to get social media clout off like a man's death? Like people were using like no, it's, it's not hashtags wrong. It's, it's and just tacky. Stephanie, you know, Rip Nipsey. It's, well, it's not and I'm like, I get it. Like he passed away and you're showing respect. But at the same time, like you clout chasing like shit right now. Well, all these hashtags. Right. Well, <laughs> and that's kind of disrespectful to the dead, in my opinion. Well, here's the transfer, transformation of what we're going through these days. And social media is... It's relevant. It yeah. exists, and there's a million ways to use it. I mean, look at little little Nas X. Right. He yeah. blew up oh with that old God. town oh. road like, from a social media <laughs> standpoint, and now he's a millionaire yeah. giving money yeah. to country. You know, exactly. it's crazy, man. Y'all know we are at the close of the show. It's two minutes left. Oh, wow. oh Yes. Yeah. But I want to go everybody go around. Like, yeah. you know, I think this was a good topic to end on. So real quick, everybody, since we're talking about social media, we're going to go around the room and everybody give you social media information, what project, where can we see you next, and just give us your last closeout word. So we're going to start with you, Brett. I mean, so the show. I'm like, you looking dead at me saying Brett. I was like, Brett's, Brett's the other white guy. He's the other white guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Deshaun. We're going to go with you, brother. So my social media is at it's Deshaun Ross Comedy. So it's spelled D S E A N, like Deshaun. Deshaun Ross Comedy. And um, next weekend, I will be at Laughs Unlimited in Sacramento. I'm headlining that. And um, I'm working on a uh, food show right now. Hmm? Um, like we're a pitching Snoop Dogg well. Martha show? No, 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 and no bacon or nothing. I'm not doing none of the cooking. I'm oh. just hosting, like tasting and stuff like that. It's awesome. special because uh, I don't eat meat anymore, so oh, I hate man. saying that now out loud in front of black people. They've judged me so much. I, I can say I kill somebody and they'll be like, "Oh, we can pray for you." I don't eat meat. Okay. You think you better than us or something? I know. I know. <laughs> Stephanie, what you got? Uh, well, my I have two. My main page is Stephanie Tejada, uh, Stephanie with a P H T E J A D A, and then for just comedy, it's the new queen of comedy. You can just go to my website, stephanietejada.com, and hit shop for my boutique. And stephanietejada.com is my website. No doubt. Bro. Oh, by the way, the shirt I'm wearing, if you guys see the video. Uh oh. It's from the store. Cool. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, very my, Egyptian. Yeah. Mine is uh, Mr. Brett Riley, B R E T T R I L E Y, with M R, Mr. in front of it, because I was slow to the game. And some other dude named Brett Riley like takes pictures of birds or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but uh, you can find me if you can remember my name, B-R-E-T-T-R-I-L-E-Y dot com, and it'll lead you to all my social media. And I have a, my half hour special is coming out sometime before the new year. They're Woo! shopping it nice, right now, nice. but I taped that with the Laugh Factory, and I'm excited for it. I'm just impatiently waiting. That's Daniel, it. where you at? Oh, you can know, you can find me at I M D J Dano D A N N O. I spend in my treehouse. Uh, I, I spend a lot of time in my bedroom, and uh, you know, whatever. I'm out and about doing this privates and corporates, but I love what I do, man. That's a DJ lifestyle. Doc, yeah. where you at? Check him at the doc. Uh, D O C two two one E N T. There and, it is. And you can check me out at said brass S E D B R A double A S. So we got y'all going, and we thank everybody for listening to the funny, funny don't, don't stop, stop show. show. Oh, 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 oh. Every day. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. Hey. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. Hey. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. Hey. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. The funny don't stop shows. The funny don't stop. Hey.